face to face and today we're going to talk about Colombia, we're going to talk about writing, we're going to talk about books. Uh, I'm with Raime, uh, welcome to face to face. Thank you, it's, it's a pleasure to be here. So you are a big writer, very known. Uh, very well known in, very in my well apartment. I'm no, well no, in my no, apartment. no, 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 I saw no. your biography, you published many books. I've published many and, books. And yes. you took a uh, strong position in many situations. Um, and you have a, a book coming up about... About, uh, oh, about two um, <laughs> Colombian priests who met in the seminary when they were 15 or 14 and they became lovers and they, were, they remained lovers for the next uh, you know, 25 years. And then later uh, when the story ends, uh, it's because they uh, hired a killer to uh, uh, ki kill both of them. Uh, you know. And so um, that's how it ends. But it's a true story. So you shot in a little bit the story where they got AIDS, no? Oh that yeah, is. one had AIDS, and so he uh, didn't want to go on, on living because the, he thought that the, the church was not going to like that, and he was going to be thrown out of the church. So he, he decided to kill himself. And then his friend said, well, if you're going to die, then I want to die with you. So they, they hired uh, you know, um, a young killer, and they paid him $5,000, and then and he killed both of them. How do you how do you come with these stories? How did you how did you find out? How did you? Well, it was on the front page of all the Colombian newspapers. Oh, I see. Yes. And then you get touched by the story. Yes, yes, yes. And in Colombia, it was a big. It, it was it's a, a big scandal. A big yes, scandal. a big scandal. And then um, later, I discovered that one of them had been really. Um, they were both uh, activists, social activists, but one of them had been uh, very much involved with the. Uh, um, um, the false positives. I don't know if you've uh -huh. heard about yeah, that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, and so he was one of the first ones to denounce that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so that when I started asking people in the neighborhood um, why he was, you know, whether you know, it was true that they had hired this young man to kill them, people began to say, no, he was killed because he uh, was the first one to denounce the, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, the false positives. Yes. And you say, what, why touch more the people? Because the religious aspect or because of the gay aspect? What, what was it? The, the Colombian trigger? people? Yeah, what was the trigger uh, of, of? Scandal, I think, the, scandal. The, uh, the fact that there were priests. And Colombia is a Catholic country. Yeah, it's a very, very conservative yeah. ca mm -hmm. Catholic country. Mm -hmm. And also the thing about AIDS. And then later, they, all kinds of things were, were dis discovered about. You know, they were not saints. They were really, uh, I think they were great social leaders. But they were not saints. Mm -hmm. They like mm -hmm. going to bars and no, sure. and they, you know, like one of the one of the one who had AC, he, he had a lover who was a uh, hustler, and uh, you know he did drugs and all. Uh, it's, it's a sordid tale, but mm -hmm. I didn't know that in the beginning. But it's also very beautiful because they they really help thousands and thousands of people. Yeah, of poor people. And to put the discussion, and you op they opened the discussion to become social. Yes. Discussion. How is the gay community is going in in uh, in Colombia? I think they get they, they, they advance a little bit. It's yes, it's it's not it's not like it, it was when I was a young man. When I actually I think I eventually came to this country to um, to stay here because I, I didn't like uh, being gay in Bogota. I was one of the few Bogota at that point had like three four million people, and you couldn't find gay, gay people. Everybody was in the closet. Mm. And I had lived already in this country, and I didn't like that. I, everything mm -hmm. was hidden. Mm -hmm. You had to, rem you know, you couldn't talk about it. Mm -hmm. you, nobody should know about it. And I didn't like that. So I thought, no, this is not for me. So I left. So you are part of the gay community in New York City. You have, you have. I'm gay. I don't know if I'm part of the community, but yes, well, but I, mean, I have many friends who are gay. Did and you did, and, and did a big uh, go to the struggle from the last thirty years? Well, the, yeah. Well, yeah. Sh sure. The AIDS. Uh, 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 First epidemic. So many, how many yeah. of my, many, many of my friends died. I wrote about it. I wrote, you know, a book of essays about it, and and so on, many poems, and also one of my two of my novels, I wrote about it. So that part of it, I was very, um, you know, was pretty much uh, energized by what, what was going on because I thought we were all going to die. Mm -hmm. So I, you know, my part, I saw it as writing about it and mm -hmm. and talking to people, you know, about it too. And then now. Now what? Now it's 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 the, for the gay community in New York. It's 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 all good. It's it's um, the discrimination. It's 
I don't know. You know, it's, it's different. I think it's different. I mean, I, young people don't know anything about that that time, you know, and so and and everything. So you know, they you know they they can marry now. They can you know uh, join the army. They can do all these things that for my generation it was impossible. It was impossible. You, you couldn't even dream don't about even it. Dream. Yeah, so don't even so it's, it's like uh, they are so so different from from the way we were, you know. Well, for you, what, 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 what do you think happened? What, why did this happen? What well, was the work for me, for the gay community to be able to get to that level of, of, uh, of uh, acceptance, uh, we say, into the, into the mainstream In the society? Mainstream. Yeah. I, think, I think basically it was AIDS, because you couldn't ignore anymore the fact that there were gay people. And, and because up until, until that, that point, the New York Times had never printed the word gay, you know, until the oh. uh, early 80s, you know, like 81 when the first. So when people began to die of AIDS, people, you know, the, all the they newspapers and the magazines had to mention gay people, gay people, you know, and so people began to know that all over the world there were lots of us and the famous actors like Rock Hudson, and so uh, you are telling me that in some ways, in the some ways, AIDS, AIDS yes. epidemic in yes. the 70s, yes. five, six, seven, and yes. eight, open, it made us visible. Made visible yeah, the gay they, they couldn't, we couldn't yeah, be ignored yeah. again uh, anymore because then it was news. Wow. Yeah, and so it was pretty horrific, and so so they had to uh, finally begin to talk about us. Yeah, I think in New York it was it was a disaster. I mean, in New York was. I mean, yeah. I have a friend who told me it changed overnight. I yeah, mean, I, I, I had some. What New York was all about going out and, 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 and doing some way crazy stuff. Some weeks I had and to go uh, to three and four funerals yeah, in a yeah. week. And it was like, a, yeah. yeah, everybody was dying. Yeah, it was like a war, more or less. Yeah, it was. It yeah. was yeah. 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 But for everybody, not just for the gay community, it was for everyone, because everyone has a friend who was gay, who was. Was yeah, it, well, yeah, was the families, the families, the friends, yeah. you know, the, the, the students, the, the neighbors, it, 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 it touched yeah. a lot of people, yeah. lot, millions and millions yeah. of people yeah. were yeah. touched by that. Yeah. Well, how about uh, Colombia? What, what about Colombia? What do you want to know about Colombia? I want to know everything because I, we were very much involved in the, in the peace process in New York mm -hmm. with the campaign and we were, uh, uh, I was very touched by uh, by the peace process and 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 the Colombian that I know were like a little bit on the negative part on 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 that process, and I said, no, but look, it's it's something is happening. We need we need to mm -hmm. to to see the, the process, not too much a fact of day to day, because I know it's a lot of issues, problem. But I think the Colombians are much better off now than they were 20 years ago. Oh yeah, definitely. With, with no, I mean, no one's going to discuss that. I mean, I had friends well, 20 years the ago. They were coming. They we cannot do anything. No, in Colombia. It's, 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 it's difficult. It's difficult because um, I'm a Colombian, and you know, and, and I, uh, I think that we're very. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I don't don't want to talk for all the other Colombians, but I can tell I can tell you, for example, in my own family, yeah. you know, the things that happen. Uh, 40, 50 years ago, yeah. and people who were killed because of yeah. this and that yeah. and the other. It's like it happened yesterday. They don't want to forgive or to forget. Yeah. Yeah. And I keep saying, but you know, like that's in the past, you know, yeah. like we're living now. We have yeah. to, you know, accept that this is much yeah. better to yeah. wait. To, no, they're still like hold yeah. on to that anger yeah. and to that hatred. And yeah. so that makes it difficult. It to, difficult. Yeah, yeah, very yeah. difficult. Yeah. 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 So, uh, but still in day to day for them, it, the, the, the life now, it's much easier, it's much... It's, 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 uh, well, you know, it's, it's easier in... in, in many, I mean, Colombia is going through a... a, a transformation. A, a, it's, you know, it's, it's a very um, stable, in, certain, in many ways it's more stable than, than Venezuela, yeah. you know, of course, yeah. And, yeah. And, uh, and Ecuador, and, yeah. and, 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 the, and there is prosperity because now that the, there is not fighting everywhere, you know, like there are more businesses and, and foreign investment, mm -hmm. and, and there is more prosperity, and there is a middle class. When I was a boy, there was no middle yeah, class, no, 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 it was all poor and rich. Yeah. Now there is a large middle class, people can go to universities and to schools, mm -hmm. and, and they can have little businesses, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. it's, it's much, it's much, I think in that sense, 
I would say that the democracy has been better for, even though it's a cor corrupt democracy, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's been better than, than dictatorship yeah. or the left-wing governments of like yeah. Chavez and Castro and you know and the other uh, mm -hmm. you know socialists because those countries are in worse shape than Colombia. Mm -hmm. But 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 Colombia is also um, you know so and the people are very creative there. It's incredible. Uh, the, I, I admire the Colombian people and very smart. You know, you can you, you say, what, how come these people who are so sm smart have created this country that is so, so yeah, yeah, screwed up? Yeah. You know, like, yeah. Well, I don't know if it's screwed up, but I think it's people who are connected to value um, and they want to, to protect and make sure, uh, you know, everybody has access to it. So how do you go about it? It's, it's still a challenge because here, even in New York, I mean, the level of poverty in New York, it's, it's uh, really challenging. Yes, yes. W once, well, it's, yes, still a class society, which I hate. I hate that kind of, mm -hmm. uh, and, and a very r a racist society in many mm -hmm. ways. Mm -hmm. And, and so um, all those things have changed little by little. But now, for example, when I was, when I was little. Yeah, you were there, no? When I was, when I, you know, when I was, I was in Colombia when I was a boy and mm -hmm. was an adolescent. Mm -hmm. uh, when I was growing up, uh, you only saw uh, black people in certain parts of Colombia, yeah. you know, because that they those were the slaves who ran, yeah. ran away, yeah. and then they hid in certain parts of Colombia. Yeah. My own family included, you know, and uh, and then now you know you see black people everywhere, you know, and and uh, you know so it's like it's finally you know the Colombia can, can talk about about stuff like that. I remember when I was there about 20 years ago doing research for a book on slavery. They said, "Oh no, uh, slavery was very good in Colombia. Yeah. We love the slaves." And I said, well, that's like, that's, that would be nice, the yeah. first world time. Yeah, no, yeah, we, we, because, because they were valuable. Work, yeah. There's nothing to say about slavery yeah, here. Yeah. And you couldn't find much written about yeah, it. You couldn't. It was all but you know, my mother silent. told me once that yeah. in France, we don't discriminate. Oh, yes. That's yes. what she said to me. Yes. And I look at her, I'm like, in France, we don't discriminate. I mean, I was like, my, my, and she was an activist, I mean, but anyway, I, c I totally understand the... Maybe not on paper, in the books, you don't discriminate the laws, you know, that protect against discrimination, but the, the, the people are very... The Colombians are, you know, like now that there are a, a million Venezuelans in Colombia who have fled from Venezuela, they walked and, you know, whatever, crawled, and, uh, and the Colombians are horrible to them, and I, I had many fights when I was there. And yeah, I but they are horrible to them, but they are in Colombia. They are still finding space, they are still yeah. able to... Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, they, oh, didn't, yeah. they didn't were welcome with gas and, and, no, and, and, no, no, and military uh, who no, tried no, to no, kill no. the kids. I mean, it, it's... No, they're poor people who are trying to survive, to uh, eat, Absolutely. And feed themselves and go to school, and I... I met some recently when I went to Colombia, when I to talk to refugees of the yeah. war. Mm -hmm. And you know, I, I met one girl who uh, left with her mother because they, they couldn't survive, they couldn't eat. So on the way to Colombia, the mother died you know, from disease and they were walking all the time. And she had a, a, an uncle in Medellin. She finally arrived in Medellin. She couldn't find her uncle. So she was grabbed by the people in the, in the, in the sex trade. She, she, they, they made her into a sex slave, <gasps> and she was, a, she was only 14 or 15. And they, she had to do that because she was a sex slave. They kidnapped her, she didn't know anybody. Finally, she, she managed to escape and went to Bogota and found a refuge in, in, in a community of um, uh, teenagers who were like, you know, organized and, wow. and, and defending. So there are many, many, many people like that, and the children, you know, I met with all this, um, you know, like 50 children from all, in, all these indigenous groups. They were like these five, six to 10, 12. And I, I, you know, I wanted to talk to them. Who are you? Like, where do you come from? And, what are you, you know, like, and they would all say that, oh, I'm here. And my name is such and such. I'm from such part of Colombia. But I'm also here with my, my family who, and they're in a better place. And then after I, they had all talked, I asked the teacher, and it was, was that better place? She said, oh, they're all dead. Their family, that means that the older families, the relatives, their parents yeah. are, are, are dead. Yeah. Yeah, so. So it's, 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 it's intense. And you see people who are like 80 years old, who are displaced from their little pieces yeah, of land. And then they come to the city and then they make a house out of newspapers and whatever, and they twigs. Don't to find anything. Yeah. 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 Uh, so, so, but, but the, oh, the, the, what I did want to say about Colombia is that Colombia, for me, in my opinion, is not stuck. You know, I, I felt that uh, that it's moving forward, you yeah. know, that there is a lot of 
you know, in, uh, in a sense, I find that this country is much more stuck. In yeah. the, it's like not moving totally forward agree. anymore. I totally it's, agree It's like, you. Whereas yeah. in Colombia, you feel that yeah. it's this thing, you know, yeah. that you know, the people, are, the young yeah. people have a lot of... You have creativities, you have yeah. imagination, yeah. you have people yeah. who are trying a lot things. of things. I see at the democratic level where some town try to do a town hall in the, yeah. in the square and then there's people, what type of projects they do design and so on and so forth. Yeah. My problem is to get the news from Colombia. Mm, yes. Because very few people write about what's going on in a local level. And it's very interesting stuff happening in many, many places. Yes, and, true. And, and we don't... We did a one match for peace and non-violence. The place where it was more active, where people were more involved, where people were more connected was in Colombia, from all over the oh, world. Oh, yes. I, you know, you, you find uh, these uh, teachers who work with the uh, people who you yeah. know, are suffering from, yeah. and they, the government doesn't pay really anything yeah. to the teachers yeah. and very little salaries. Yeah. Yeah. And they're devoted yeah. to helping people. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I saw so, many, so much of that, and I thought, yeah. Like this country is in, in some ways yeah. in a good place. Yeah. If it keeps moving like that, yeah. it's going to be really fine, you know, Agreed. eventually, Agreed. you know. So it's, 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 I'm not negative in that sense. Right. And I also say that, uh, you know, like the, the, the most imperfect peace is better than, than, than war. No matter how imperfect the peace process is, no, it's I know, than war. I totally agree. You know, so like, I, I mean, know, it's, it was never proposed as a perfection, no. it was proposed as at the yeah. peace, at, to uh, do a process. Yeah. To go to peace, it, it, it yeah. But people say, it. "Oh, no, 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 it's not, you know, it's not good." And then, like, no, like there's a lot of problem with the transitional justice. It yes, was, it yes, was yeah, very they, yeah, and yeah, they, yeah, and there are people who lost everything, yeah. and uh, so they they don't they don't they don't want to forgive because yeah. they, they think we lost everything. We we need yeah. to right. be you know like in a way somebody's got to be responsible for that. I know. Yeah. So yeah. It's, uh, just like France. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe with the yellow vest, we're going to see what's happening with us. But anyway, um, you anything you want to to plug, to say, or to uh, do you have any project you are working on uh, coming mm. up? Uh, I'm working on a new novel. Okay. Yeah, it's about. Uh, I don't know. When I started, I you know it was a novel about a boy yeah. who uh, uh, inherits a rooster. And uh, and so the boy decides to go to uh, the place where Garcia Marquez lives in Cartagena, oh, where yeah. he lived to give him the rooster because <laughs> the rooster came from his town. But Garcia Marquez was already dead; he didn't mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. And then he it's a it's a story, but it's a story of immigration. And then one day he watches all these people walking, and then he says, "Where are they going?" And they said, "They're going north." And so he joins them, and they starts walking in this direction. Mm -hmm. So all of a sudden, I started the novel before all this began, like so the masses, yeah, the yeah. caravans, yeah. And so he joins this huge caravan of people uh -huh. from everywhere, just walking and walking, trying to looking for something. So you always have a, a noise to find, to f to be into what's happening. I, I read the news, yeah. I like the, yeah. No, I mean I I do care about human issues yeah. and yeah. humanitarian issues yeah. and, uh -huh. and politics and. All that stuff. So it's like you know, some people care more about sports. I like sports, but but you know, good st political stories interest me. So I read and and I talk about it and uh, with my friends and and I like to go to to good places where you know where some of that stuff is happening uh -huh. and, and talk to the people. Yeah, yeah. And we need people, more people like you, who can tell the story of because if not, nobody talk about them. I mean, in, in, in the U.S., nobody talks about the poor people. Nobody talks about 100,000 kids who are homeless in New York City, 100,000 who go to school, public school, who are homeless. I mean, there's yeah. no book about it. Oh, yeah, yeah, no yeah, yeah, yeah. And, I, and I've taught for many years, and I've, I, uh, uh, and I've even at, at college level, I had students who were going to college and were homeless, and they live in the subways, Yeah, you know. Yeah. So, you know, not many, but there were some. Yeah. So you, you find that all kinds of, if you, if you take the time to talk to people, I like yeah, to talk to people. Talk to them. You know, so, um, you know, so everybody says a story. They, there are so many stories. It's, it's just uh, amazing that people, the things that you the learn in New York, yeah. do you take the time to say mm -hmm. hi, or, you know, like tell me your story. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much for thank coming. Thank you, thank you. And that was uh, Face to Face. And please keep watching your news on Presenza.com and hope to hear from you very soon. Thank you.